Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, th this is my review of. Oh, hold on a sec, you're Of. Free Eternal Summer Episode 3. Looking up the uh, episode title right now, but yeah, okay. Episode 3 entitled The Butterfly of Farewell. So, yes, free episode 3. So, this episode was mainly centered, actually, almost solely. <laughs> centered around Ray as a character, you know, Ray, that char that character that ended up joining the uh, swim club in the last episode. Brand new, he was very he well, didn't grow up with the main characters. He was very you know had wore more glasses. He's very technical individual, very intelligent, and used to be at the at their in their school's track team and very good at it too. Okay. So this episode really centered around him trying to become a better swimmer because, you know, he can only swim one stroke, and even that stroke he's not the greatest at. So he really wanted to become better, and what I didn't expect was for Rin to actually help him become better. Okay. I didn't expect that at all because, you know, they're on different teams, so I suppose um, he does... That will definitely consider Haruka to be an extremely close friend to him, as well as the others who grew up with him. And even Ray now, it seems like he considers to be at least a pretty good friend. You know, he doesn't... Like, in last season, I got the feeling that he kind of hated Ray, but at this point, I do think he considers him to be at least some sort of a friend, you know. And so, he, Rin is secretly helping Ray become a better swimmer um, at his school's... Uh, in his school swimming pool, at Rin's school swimming pool, okay, and it's very important that I stress secretly because he won't, because Ray wanted to surprise the others with him being a better swimmer, and so they get all suspicious about why, well, why he's not interacting with them very much or at all anymore, and they end up spying, following him one at, towards the end of the episode and spying on him basically. Uh, having Ren help help him become a better swimmer and so when he finally shows it to him they have to like pretend that they didn't see it you know and it's actually a really interesting concept for an episode because Ray has always been the odd one out in the series he's always been the one you know that's very unconfident with himself unlike the others oh the others may have some moments of that Ray, Ray has really been like that a lot because swimming was never really his forte his forte was always track okay and he's always been the one that wasn't the greatest swimmer either he had to really learn how to swim in order to be a part of the swim team and it got people thinking you know is he gonna quit because they saw him talking with his track coach you know is he gonna quit which he denied and was true obviously and so I just thought it was a really interesting concept for a first or for an ep for first episode for an episode and I thought that it worked out really well the only real complaint I have on it is I thought it was a bit too fast-paced I really thought that there should have been like half of an episode at least to actually show Rin training Ray, okay? And so it could have been one of those things where the audience knows, but the characters do not. Or maybe the audience didn't know for a little while, then the characters and the audience found out at the same time, and then maybe like next episode, the half of the episode, or the entire episode could be spent, for the most part on Rin teaching Ray. I thought one of those two things would have been a lot better than the way they did it, but I still very much enjoyed it. Okay. Animation, as always, is on point here. It's amazing. Really, it is. I loved the animation in this episode. As always, Kyoto Animation has, usually has amazing animation, especially in this series, and it's definitely great. So anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. These after guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.